Hello guys, welcome back, my name is Asmarant and of course we're here with another video before I start there will be an announcement what I'll be doing for the Super Bowl and I won't be indoors, I'll be celebrating it out uh, sadly it's not our team but I will be out in the Super Bowl and I'll tell you where uh, the day before it starts so keep an eye out for that so keep looking through the videos hope you enjoy the content and let's move on so as you can see with this dude right here the Dolphins hide Mike McDaniel as a new head coach. So I'm reading it off the NFL.com news by Grant Gordon, the digital content editor. And I'll read a few lines. The Miami Dolphins have successfully hired San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel to become the new head coach. The team, uh, the team announced Sunday after it was uh, reported by the NFL's networks Tom uh, Plasco and the NFL Network's insider Ian Rappaport. McDaniel, 38, uh, headed for his first stint as a head coach. It will take over a team becoming off to, uh, coming off back-to-back -back winning season, but that hasn't made the playoffs since 2016 or won its division since 20 uh, since 2008. Uh, it's saying McDaniel is the f uh, f first uh, minority or, uh, hire of the current head coaching cycle, and the Fort Niners will receive two third-round picks. Uh, Rappaport reported Miami had two finalists and chose McDaniel over Dallas Cowboys offensive coordinator Keelan Moore. Uh, Rappaport reported. So there's more to it, but I'll leave it as that. That is crazy. One, am I shocked that he's gone? Yeah, to be fair, because he thinks he could be good as a head coach as Miami Dolphins for a few round picks in the draft. But is he though? Think of it. Bizarre how defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryan had his second interview, I think it was the Vikings, and he turned it down because he feels in the statements that he was giving, in the interviews and all that he was giving, that it, he wasn't good enough to go there until he can learn more defensive coordination with the 49ers. Brilliant, because he can identify that he's there's something wrong, but he has done, and he wants to prove himself for the next season. Mike McDan Mike McDaniel, for the offensive, is going to be a head coach for Miami Dolphins. I think that's way too much. I'm not saying it was rubbish for us as an offensive coordinator. It was good. Like I said, I we were in our division. Must have been way of the underdogs, because we started out crap, like really sad, to the point we didn't think we could make it ourselves. And as a fan, and I mean a fan, being theoretical, how, how did you think we could have won it by bye week? I was like, man, I don't think we could put it off. All right, even though it was what week six, and you still had eighteen to go. 18 in total, sorry, 17 in total. But we were like that, win, loss, win, loss, 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 win, loss. It, it, it was more losses than wins, even the Seattle Seahawks. I was like, my God, if you've lost against them, jeez, do we have a chance? And we come out of this cycle with, we had a great chance. The offensive coordinator was, like I said, defensive coordinator was great. Like really good. The Amico Ryans did really, 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 really well. Really well. Mike McDaniel was a, uh, an offensive coordinator. Did really, really well. We come out of our own. We did better than we, what uh, what we did, what we expected to do. We come out brilliantly, blindingly. To see him go, it is a bit of a worry, even to me. Because we come on stride. And then, yeah, straight to wild card. Was I nervous? A little bit, but nothing much. But the you know the offensive team from the defense, like I mean, the defense played well. The offensive was going through really, really well. Yeah, we struggled a few times, but we moved on. Packers, 
we struggled badly. Struggled badly. And I think, and this be really fair, the Packers, special teams ruined them to give us the advantage. And we did really well. So thanks to Packers defensive team, uh, Packers special teams, I think we did really, really, really well. To see him go, becoming head coach of Miami Dolphins, that's worrying for them. I don't think he'll... I think he'll do well. I don't think he'll do great. I can't see it. But time will tell. If he stayed for another year and did really well, like Super Bowl well, maybe. Maybe. But I'm not too sure. I, I think it's Gattering, to be fair. All right. For a few picks, yeah, great. But I think it's Gattering to see him go. Because I think he could do better. But if he wants to go... And you think you can do better somewhere else? That's fair dues, that's fair enough, but there you go. That's how it is in the NFL world. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Is it the right move to let him go? Is it the wrong move to let him go? I'll let you guys decide. Once again, thank you very much for the 65 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciate you guys subscribing. If you're new, subscribe. I've got more 49ers news coming out. I'm trying to get my trailer reactions re out and other reactions and reviews out as well as movies and so forth. And um, yeah. Other than that, keep watching guys, leave the notification bell on and then you'll see the videos pop up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.